Hey guys! So, just in case you were missing from the internet for the past 600 years, I just wanted to let you know that there was a little hashtag trending for a while called Growing Up Blank, and you know, people filled it in with their own little things. Growing up black, growing up short, growing up Hispanic, growing up sheltered, growing up sad, whatever it was. But I decided to make my own little hashtag. There was actually more people who tweeted on this, but it didn't get quite as much love as the other ones. So I decided I was going to add to my own hashtag about my own experiences. Hashtag growing up adopted. Or in my case, growing up transracially adopted. Because <laughs> it's a whole different experience. So here's my growing up adopted. Walk into the doctor's office and they ask you, so what is your family history? I don't know. Grade school and they assign you to do one of those family trees for a fun project and you're just sitting there like, um, I, I don't even know where to begin. Trying to explain to somebody how I can be black and my parents can be white. It's like talking to a fucking brick wall. Y'all just don't get it. This actually just happened to me last week when my mama was visiting me, having to argue with somebody to convince them that your white parent is indeed your actual legal ass fucking parent. Growing up fucking adopted. Where is your family from? Which one? Because I can only answer one the way. Assuming that your birth parents were either on drugs or literally just like tossed you out the window because they didn't want you. <laughs> Fun times. Not relating to a single one of your family's traditions because guess what? You're not white. Hashtag growing up transracially adopted, being the only non white person at literally every fucking event. Church, school, the city, the district, probably the whole fucking state. Just me. When your last name doesn't match your ethnicity. What? How can your last name be that when you look like that? Well, you know, there's a thing called adoption and you should look into it. Google is free, my friend. Okay. All right. Also, that's got a racist. All right. <laughs> Have a good day. Growing up adopted. When people think that all other black people around you are automatically your siblings. And my favorite is when they think that other black people in your family are actually blood related to you just because you're all adopted. No, no we're not. We're not even from the same continent, okay? All right. When people ask you, so who's your real family? You look just like your mom. Do I? Because she's white and I'm not. How do we look alike? Hmm? How? How does that work? Tell me. So you could be like related to the Obamas. Could I? Could, do you really think so? Is that really what comes to your mind? So you're dumb. That's what you're telling me. Okay. Just wanted to clear that up there. <laughs> yeah, just somewhere on the same page. Okay. Oh my goodness, you can dance. You probably got that from this old white guy, didn't ya? <laughs> didn't ya? Joke, joke. <laughs> Funny. Oh my god. Oh god. Take myself out every time. Anyways, so that's my little contribution to the hashtag growing up blank, growing up adopted, growing up transracially adopted, whichever way you want to call it. That's my experience. Those are my contributions. Have a good day, y'all. <laughs> The thing I'm really tired of answering. Oh well, since you were adopted as a baby, it must be really easy, right? No. Who who told you that? That's not fucking true. Just because you're adopted as a baby doesn't mean that you like don't fucking know that you're not that you're adopted. Especially when you're somebody like me and are transracially adopted. Like you think I didn't notice that everybody in my family was white? <laughs>